Hey, hey, good people. Arthur Moore is here. I hope all is well. In this video, we're going to find the least common denominator of rational expressions with linear denominators and common factors. All right, so here we have 7 over 2x minus 8 and 5x over 3x minus 12. So the first thing that we need to do is factor the expressions in the denominators. So I see that I have a common, uh, com common factor for 2x minus 8, a GCF. So I'm going to factor out the GCF of 2, divide each one of those by 2. And that gives me x minus 4 in my parentheses. So 2 times x minus 4. All right, and then 3x minus 12, I have a GCF of 3. So I'm going to factor out a 3. And that leaves me with x minus 4 in my parentheses again. Okay, so for your least common denominator, each factor that you see must be used at least once. So we have 2, 3, and we have x minus 4. All right, so 2 times 3. Then the x minus 4 has the same exponent of 1. Remember before we said that if we see a factor listed in each place, uh, we use the factor with the highest exponent. We use the one with the highest exponent. Well, the highest exponent is 1, so... We just write x minus 4 to the understood first power. And our least common denominator, let's go ahead and multiply the 2 times the 3. Would be 6 times x minus 4. Okay. So again, each factor that you see in your denominator must be used at least one time in your least common denominator. If you have the same factor in both denominators, you look to see where the highest exponent is, and that's how many times you use it in your least common denominator. All right, good people. Hope you found this video to be helpful, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.